Hello people, in this video we want to understand what this tennis elbow is. So basically uh, elbow joint you know where it is right. So here's your elbow joint. So there is some problem here right. So that is what is the topic. Tennis elbow, it happens in tennis players and a lot of other people, not just tennis players. It is also uh, the technical term is lateral epicondylitis. What is lateral epicondylitis? So where is your epicondyle of your humerus? So here you have the lateral epicondyle isn't it so um, you have the humerus for the humerus here you have the lateral epicondyle here you have the medial epicondyle isn't it so we are concerned with what here lateral epicondyle right so if this is your uh, lateral view of your hand so here you can see the lateral epicondyle to that some extensor tendon is attached so that tendon is injured tendon is injured tendon is affected okay so basically this is an affection of the soft tissue so what has happened here there is pain and tenderness at the lateral epicondyle where is the pain and the tenderness people it is in the lateral epicondyle Why, what is there in the lateral epicondyle pain and tenderness pain means what the patient will come with you with pain okay they will say they have pain there when you put pressure there or you touch there there will be pain that is tenderness so uh, the both of these will be there in the at what at which location at the lateral epicondyle of the humerus why why is this happening because of non specific inflammation at the origin of the extensor muscles of the forearm so these muscles will originate here right at that place what is there inflammation is it any specific inflammation no it is some non specific inflammation okay so what and all will be there here pain and tenderness this is because of soft tissue problem what is actually a uh, hurt here there is inflammation of the tendon the tendon basically the muscles will have tendon which attaches to the bone so these extensor muscles which they have shown here see the muscles here the muscles are attaching with the tendon to the bone that place there is inflammation non specific it is nothing where you cannot pinpoint and say that this is the inflammation uh, because of what etc so elbow what elbow are we talking about tennis elbow so though it seems like it is only uh, in tennis players everybody else also you and me also can get tennis elbow why probably you try to lift some heavy suitcase or probably you are ring, um, you know squeezing the clothes very uh, forcefully or um, uh, you're doing some kind of mechanical action like this so some kind of a repetitive stress looks like right so what are we looking at tennis elbow now let us look at the clinical features what will they come with tenderness where localized to the lateral epicondyle lateral epicondyle touch your lateral epicondyle make your hand in uh, uh, like this go to your uh, anatomical position okay and make your hand like this and touch your lateral epicondyle there there will be tenderness okay where here touch this point in your uh, body there you will have pain that is tennis elbow okay so what are we looking at clinical features so where will there be tenderness pain lateral epicondyle pain is aggravated by putting the extensor muscle into stretch how to put the extensor muscles into stretch for example by palm are flexing the wrist so you just make the palm are flexion like this right and the fingers are all pronated this is pronation only all the fingers are pronated only like this you do okay this is how you will put it in um, uh this uh, you will put the extensor tendons in a stretch okay so this is where you will have more pain pain is aggravated by putting this okay elbow movements are normal so the movements are not restricted so this is something you should understand the movements are not restricted and the x ray does not reveal any abnormality why doesn't it reveal any abnormality because there is no fracture or anything it's a soft tissue injury and uh, x ray is not going to tell you about soft tissue isn't it so this much you have understood right so only three points we read here no four points there is tenderness lateral epicondyle pain is aggravated by putting the hand in this um, uh, position where you have done palmar flexion okay then what else elbow uh, movements are normal x ray does not reveal any abnormality so elbow movements are normal let's highlight this something is green at least here and x-ray also does not reveal any abnormality though there is abnormality x-ray's job is not to tell you about soft tissue so it did not tell you okay it's not a fracture or anything now we are continuing with the clinical features diffuse tenderness indicates uh, so this is more like a dd 
So, if there is diffuse tenderness all over this place, there is tenderness that is it will indicate arthritis. But in this case, what do you have local tenderness and where do you have that on the lateral epicondyle? Then it is called as tennis elbow. Okay. But there is something else called as golfer's elbow where there is tenderness over the medial epicondyle. Medial epicondyle, touch your medial epicondyle, that is golfer's elbow. Lateral epicondyle, that is tennis elbow. Okay. And there is one more elbow called as student's elbow because of always writing or keeping it on the desk, is it? Tip of the olecranon, always keeping your hand on the desk. So this is actually student's elbow is something to do with um, bursa. So it's a bursitis, okay. So student's elbow is bursitis. So this is the photo indicating the bursitis, inflammation of the bursa. But here we are not talking about that, okay. These are the only DDs. So diffuse means so it will be arthritis, local over the, the lateral epicondyle will be tennis elbow. Then you have something called as the golfer's elbow which is a DD, remember, student's elbow or olecranon bursitis, okay, both are same. So, these are the DDs. This one is not a DD. This is the actual thing. Local tenderness over lateral epicondyle is tennis elbow. This is what we want to see. But if there is diffuse tenderness, then it indicates arthritis. If there is uh, tenderness over the medial epicondyle, it is golfer's elbow. If it is over the olecranon process, then it is olecranon bursitis or student's elbow. So now we have some tests here. How to investigate or this is more like a sign. Okay. So you have to write two signs here in the exam. Ringing, ringing test. So this will make it as a test. Ringing test and causing test. So ringing test. See ringing test is uh, this just ask the patient to like to act like he is bringing a towel. Okay, and where will he feel the pain? Yes, you told correctly lateral epicondyle. That will be tennis elbow. Then you have Cousin's test. Cousin's test, what will you do? When the forearm pronated, okay, ask the patient to make a fist. Let's check this. When the forearm is pronated and he is making a fist. The examiner is now doing something. What is he doing? The examiner now holds the fist and the palmar flexes the wrist. The pain will be at the lateral epicondyle. He will... Hold this fist and palmar flex the wrist. I think what the examiner is trying to do is just palmar flex the wrist. Flex the wrist. Palmar flex the wrist is something like this, right? But here it looks like opera. This is yet another image showing that. So basically they are palmar flexing and the pain will be at the lateral epicondyle. This is Cousin's test. Cousin's test is for what? Tennis elbow. Okay. Now, look at this. Um, how will you treat? Basically, you will give analgesics, anti-inflammatory drugs. Analgesics means you can give any painkiller, basically, uh, non-steroidal. Anti-inflammatory drugs you can give. That is, um, same NSAIDs. Analgesics, anti-inflammatory. That combination you will get. You can, uh, if this, the relief is not there after a week, remember, you will give the treatment for a week. If there is no response, you can give an injection of hydrocortisone. Okay. At the point of maximum tenderness. Uh, you can also, instead of hydrocortisone, they are talking about methylprednisolone. Okay. Then, what is this manipulation? You can do some manipulation, they are saying. Effective in tennis elbow. You can do some manipulation. And even in low backache, tennis elbow and all, uh, this manipulation is of some relief. Okay. So, basically, now let's take a recap of this topic that we have looked at in this video. Tennis elbow. Tennis elbow, uh, you can, uh, basically, it's a problem at the elbow joint, isn't it? So, it's a, um, it's also called as lateral epicondylitis. That is the lateral epicondyle of the humerus, right? That is where the pain and tenderness will be. So, uh, this is an uh, affection of the soft tissue. Here, no uh, bone, etc. involvement is because of the soft tissue. There is pain and tenderness at the lateral epicondyle. Why? Because there is non-specific inflammation of the extensor muscles of the forearm, especially where the these muscles originate, that tendon. This is an extra articular lesion, nothing to do with the joint, remember. Uh, this is not only seen in tennis players, it is also seen in people who, uh, you know, uh, wriggle the clothes, that is, squeeze the clothes or uh, people who are mechanically using their hand or lifting suitcase, etc. In any of these people, it can happen, okay? Then coming to the clinical features, there is tenderness on this lateral epicondyle. We already told you tenderness of lateral epicondyle. 
then uh, the pain is aggravated when you put the hand in this kind of play, uh, situation that is palmar flex okay where the fingers at the four uh, with the forearm are pronated okay this is palmar flexion of the wrist so at this place what will happen the pain is aggravated at this lateral epicondyle because you're putting the extensor tendons at a stretch the elbow movements are normal remember and the x-ray does not reveal any abnormality because it is nothing to do with the nothing to do with the bone or anything this is soft tissue affection dds dds for tennis elbow that is differential diagnosis if there is diffuse tenderness it means it is arthritis if there is medial condyle uh, tenderness that is the inside part of your uh, medial uh, epicondyle means what this one if it is here that the pain is there then that will be because of um, uh, that is called as golfer's elbow where are we yeah dd so uh, a student's elbow happens because uh, but or olecranon bursitis okay that is uh, uh these are the dds you can see uh, then like there could be a lot of other dds okay like fracture or uh, some uh, supracondylar fr uh, fracture of the humerus or um, what are the montegia fracture so many things can happen okay we just giving you some dds here now coming to uh, the tests that you will do as a doctor you can ask the patient to uh, squeeze uh, clothes right like, like that right wriggle a towel wring sorry wring 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 a towel and then you'll have pain over there the lateral epicondyle cousin's test is where um, the patient will keep the forearm and the fingers extra and pronation and they are making a fist and you will try to hold this fist and make a palmar flexion and there will be pain at the lateral epicondyle this is the cousin's test okay then um, how will you treat you will initially give analgesics anti inflammatory drugs for a week if there's no improvement you can inject steroid that is hydrocortisone at the maximum point of tenderness this will bring relief okay and then you'll have to teach the people not to uh, you know hurt that place etc right you'll have to tell them don't do this actions again that they have not written here some counseling also has to be done then coming to the other thing they can give methyl prednisolone or hydrocortisone methyl prednisolone they can give okay for what for tennis elbow and then manipulation also can produce some relief okay so this is all about tennis elbow lateral epicondylitis bye bye